Mexico's music legend Vicente Fernandez has died. The king of ranchera music died in a hospital in Guadalajara in his native state of Jalisco. He was 81 years old. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis spoke with local fans and got their reaction. She joins us now live. Tani. Christina, across the world, people are mourning the death of Vicente Fernandez. His music inspired others, including one local El Paso singer. Fernandez was known for expanding his fame beyond the borders of Mexico. His music played in millions of households around the world, with everyone soon learning the name Chente. I think everyone knows Vicente Fernandez. Like, since we were little, my mom loved him. Everyone loves their music, especially when you're out and having fun. Like, everyone knows, even when they don't speak Spanish, I think he's just like an icon. While selling 50 million records and appearing in over 30 films, Fernandez also inspired millions of other performers to pursue their passion for music. Like Ferida Reza, who came to El Paso from Colombia and started to incorporate ranchera music into her performances. When I arrived here to El Paso, to the border, I incorporated, I adapted myself to sing regional Mexican music. So for me, it's a delight because in Colombia, we listen to ranchera music, mariachi music, and the music that Vicente Fernandez sang. So for me, it's a pleasure. I learn his music and I sing his songs. Even though his death may be a tragedy, like many fans, Reza wants to remember Fernandez not in death, but on the stage representing himself and his culture. Truthfully, it's a great loss, although we were somewhat prepared since he had been having health issues for a while now. But it's a great loss. He was a great person, a talented Mexican icon musically speaking, so it's a great loss. But we will always remember him as a great singer, as someone who represented the traditional ranchera music worldwide. So that is how I want to remember him and keep on singing his songs. The family of Vicente Fernandez has not revealed whether or not they will hold a public funeral. They did have a private ceremony earlier today. Back to you, Christina. Okay, Tani.